What's up everybody, this is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue, and what I'm going to be doing today is going to be a braised short rib ragu. I saw this recipe on Facebook and figured I had to give it a shot. I am going to be making a few adjustments to it. What I will have though is the actual recipe in the description. Anyway, why don't you guys come on in and take a look what my ingredients are, and we'll get cooking. The ingredients we're going to need for this is we have some uh, short ribs. As you can see, they were 30% off. Love that. We're going to be using an onion, some oregano, garlic, parsley, uh, some mushrooms, carrots, celery, uh, a couple bay leaves, a can of tomatoes, and these are whole tomatoes. I'm not going to crush those up until the end if they need it. I'm going to have some tomato paste. The pasta that I'm using uh, is called Campania. Anyway, I thought that looked kind of interesting. There's some spiral like spaghetti noodles. That's what we're going to be using. You could use uh, mashed potatoes or what I was originally thinking about using was uh, some really like uh, thick noodles. But uh, here's what we're rolling with. I have some beef stock and then I have a little Cabernet Sauvignon or Cabernet Sauvignon. Anyway, those are our ingredients. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, slice up these uh, celery, slice up the uh, carrots, do a rough chop on the uh, parsley, and then uh, either mince or dice up this uh, garlic. So when I'm done with that, I'll meet you at the stove. So I got my vegetables cut up. They're ready to go. I have my uh, beef short ribs seasoned with that. Salt and pepper would be fine, but I really like this uh, cooking with K brand seasonal. Anyway, what I'm going to do is throw these in bone side down to begin with, and we're going to brown all sides of this. Yeah, boys are browned on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and pull these off right now. And I may have uh, bit off a little bit more than I could chew as far as how many beef short ribs I have. I may end up not cooking all of them. Anyway, so I'm going to leave. I did uh, drain off just a little bit of that oil and uh, rendered fat. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my celery, my uh, carrots, onions, and the parsley. And I'm going to cook this down until it just starts to, the vegetables start to wilt just a little bit. And that'll be the next time we pick up. One thing that I didn't mention earlier is one of our ingredients was I do have some fresh basil that we're going to be adding in this as well. It's going to wilt down a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and add my mushrooms now. My garlic. And we're going to let that cook for about another five to seven minutes. This is right where we want it. We have the vegetables kind of wilted down. I'm going to go ahead and add my tomato paste, my uh, tomatoes, and what I'm going to do with these tomatoes just to kind of help them get broke down a little bit is I'm just going to mash them with the, with the, you know, mashed potato mash or whatever you want to call it just to kind of get them started. Now I'm going to add our beef stock. Our wine. Now I'm not going to add any salt or anything to this until the very end once I see how much uh, salt we have you know from the beef bouillon and from the seasoning I put on the beef. We're going to hit it with a little oregano. And here I am about to forget my basil again. So we're gonna go ahead and add our basil. What I like to do with basil, if I think it's about to go bad, is I freeze it and it works really well. You can just kind of crush it up in there just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add our shades back in our short ribs 
Now, once I get these in, here's where you can kind of take it one or two directions. You can either do this on the stove, you know, keep it at a simmer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it in the oven. Throw it in the oven, you're going to be able to turn it, it's, you're going to be able to cook it a lot faster than if it was just sitting on the stove. And we are going to be tight on this, but I'm bound to get all this in. One more. There we go. I'm going to get a lid on top of this and let this go at 375 degrees. I'm going to check it in about another hour and a half. have been in the oven for an hour and a half at 375 degrees. And I'm just squeezing them to test them and they're definitely not tender enough. So I'm just going to kind of mix them up and then kind of put the meat side down on any of these that may have turned over. Just from the looks of it, we probably need to uh, go about another hour and a half, two hours on is my estimation. One thing I didn't mention earlier was I did go ahead and add these bay leaves. I didn't show that uh, when I was adding the ingredients. So this is going back in the oven. I'm going to set my timer for another hour and a half. And another hour and a half, so we're at three hours total in this. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of scoop out just a little bit of this sauce just so I can kind of taste it. Let that cool down, but let's take a look at this meat. So it looks like okay, the bones are starting to fall off. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start pulling some of these ribs out. And this is actually great, the bones are separating. Looks like, uh, yeah, we're good on that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these out and taste this sauce. The bones, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just set these on the side. I may use those for some stock later on. Here's another close-up look of this sauce. So it is pretty thick there. So what I've done was I did uh, go ahead and shred up some of this beef. We're just going to throw this in. And I'm going to put this on the stove at low. Now, what we did do was when you're cooking these uh, beef short ribs, you have this like fatty membrane on the back. I did cut that membrane off. So you're not going to put that in there. And it's going to be pretty obvious if you're cooking beef short ribs. But you know what? After I'm doing this recipe, you know what? A regular old top round or bottom round would work in this recipe there as we well. Go. This is a done deal. Let's go ahead and top it with some of this sauce. A little of this uh, shredded Parmesan cheese. Throw just a little bit of parsley on there. And it's time for the taste test. By kind of tasting this a little bit along the way, I can tell you that this is one of those recipes I think is going to exceed my expectations. But anyway, let's taste it. better than I thought. I'm absolutely glad I found this recipe. I will be doing something like this or something similar to this again. Give this a try. No doubt. I mean, if you find short ribs, use short ribs. If not, use a bottom, top round, something like that. But this sauce is incredible. Anyway, thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.